Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Disney Plus Wave 2 What If Marvel's Captain Carter. What an awesome figure. I'm very excited for it. But before I get into it, I first want to let you guys know where I got this figure because so many people are going to comment and ask without watching the video. Um, I got my order from toysnowman.com. Link in the video description below. It is my referral link, which will actually save you 5% off of your first order. So use the referral link down in the video description box. Uh, Toy Snowman is based in Canada, so the price that you see on the website is uh, the Canadian dollar amount. It is not the US dollar amount, so please do keep that in mind um, instead of just looking at it and saying, oh, that's high price, it's high price. It is Canadian dollar. If you do the conversion, it will um, work out better. So again, Canadian dollar, toysnowman.com, based in Canada. A referral link in the video description below. Save 5% off of your first order. So um, now that we have that out of the way, I just want to say how exciting um, it is to have this figure. This has got to be the second best figure in the wave. Debatable on if it's going to be the first. Zombie Captain America is just absolutely incredible. Um, but we shall see which figure is going to be the better of the two. I'm leaning towards the zombie Captain America, but now that I'm going to be checking out the Cap Captain Carter figure now, who knows which will actually be better. So let's get into it. We got the What If logo there, Marvel's Captain Carter. We got the Watcher logo there. You can see build a figure, the Watcher side artwork of Captain Carter looking very cool. It was a very good episode, a very strong start to the series, the What If series. Uh, but I will say that the episode felt extremely rushed. You had a two-hour movie that you tried to cram into 23 minutes or whatever it was, um, and to retell the story with a different, with a little bit of a change to it, right? So it, I felt the pacing was extremely fast-paced. Um, and a little too rushed, but still a very solid um, episode and a very good start to the season. So uh, there it is. Looking at the back of the package, we get that same promo artwork of Captain Carter in the bio reads. With the Super Soldier program in peril, Peggy Carter bravely participates by becoming Captain Carter. Carter. So very cool. I can't wait to get the Hydra Stomper figure. I do not have that one yet, unfortunately. I will be comparing Captain Carter with the Peggy Carter figure that we got in the um, Amazon exclusive two-pack that came with Steve Rogers. Uh, so very exciting. Let's get right to it and take Captain Carter out of the package. This is probably not important at all, but each of these figures actually has a different inner tray which is like from a scene from each episode. So like this one, this is when she had that first like major fight um, inside the building. It's like the promo artwork. This building is in the background. Um, so again, like each one has like, you can see the statue up at the top and you can see that right there. So each insert tray actually has a different design to it, which is kind of crazy that they would do individual ones, but also kind of cool at the same time. Okay, and here is the Captain Carter figure out of the package, and a lot of really good things on here. But there is one thing about this figure that annoys me, and I'll get into it um, here pretty soon. Uh, to start off, she comes with uh, the Build-A-Figure arms for the Watcher. So you can see here his exposed left arm with this large like gold bracelet there. It is a pinless elbow, which is pretty cool. And then his right arm um, is where he actually has the robe sleeve over his right arm. Um, as you can see there, it looks to be like a single jointed elbow with a swivel um, at the elbow. That's because of the, how the robe is designed. It's actually kind of a hefty piece because it's a big old hunk of plastic, blue plastic here. Um, so I'm excited to build the Watcher. He goes into the, those go into the pile with the Watcher head that came with the T'Challa Star-Lord. Um, and here we have the Captain Carter. So let's zoom in, take a closer look, and then we'll go over those things, including what annoys the hell out of me, which is those damn ankle boots, shin guards, whatever the hell is going on there. So let's check it out. Okay, so here is an up-close look at the Captain Carter figure. The head sculpt looks really good. It doesn't scream Peggy Carter to me. That's because it is based off of an animated show, not a live action in any form. So naturally, of course, it is going to look a little different, whereas we have the live action Peggy Carter right here for actress Haley Outwell, which this one um, is okay. I think it looks like her. It's not the greatest. This one, you I can see kind of the resemblance a little bit, but again, it is based off of an animated show, so it doesn't look exactly like Haley at well but it does have kind of the um the resemblance I, I would say so but it looks good it looks pretty good to the show again 
Um, that's what it's all about. So that's why there's no real detail in the hair. Whereas normally on an action figure on the hair, you would get a little bit more like hair strands, a little bit more detail in the sculptive hair. But because it's an animated show, we don't get that as much. Uh, the face print looks really good. The paint apps on the face, I think, came out looking excellent. Um, good job, Hasbro. Looking at the suit, the, we got the Union Jack design, which is the Great Britain flag, right? On the shield, it looks pretty good. One thing about the shield, the shield's like tiny like small small like if you compare it to like a Captain America shield you can see it's a massive massive size difference like it's kind of crazy it, it has a similar you know type of style and design in there these straps are the same size as opposed to like the Captain America figure have two different size straps this one's the same it's all white on the back then we get blue white red stripes and then the Union Jack in the center um, and then one thing that's kind of a pain in the ass for her right hand anyway because she has an open holding hand um, like so which is kind of weird because she's not holding anything she doesn't have anything to hold with this hand so I'm a little confused as to why they gave it to her you can take it off the arm but to put it on it's kind of a pain to work that thumb so I had to pop the hand off then put the arm through and then put the hand on um, this side it's a fist so it wouldn't really be so much an issue so just a heads up on that uh, but the paint apps look really good this is something where Hasbro has has been sloppy at times where um, the paint could come off not looking so good, um, but I have no complaints on mine, but I'm sure there might be some out there you may have to really, really watch out for. Looking at the back of the figure, we see a little bit of paint continue on, not a whole lot. We got those bandolier straps or the shoulder straps that come around for Captain Carter there. Those look pretty good as they come around the front. Those are sculpted on there. They aren't a separate piece or anything like that. So actually here on this side, if you can see it, I may need to brighten it up some. Let's take a look there. But I actually have some blue that bleeds through that brown, unfortunately. So it looks like a little bit of paint rub where the arm comes. So you can see the blue kind of come through um, on that brown paint of the strap. You get a little bit of red on the arms. A little bit of red and white design there on the forearms, which is on both sides. You have this brown glove piece. This is a separate floating piece. So you can pop the hands off and then you'd be able to pull that off. Um, so, in terms of the hands, she has a fist for her right, open holding hand for her left. Again, she comes with no additional accessories to hold that with, unfortunately. So, it would have been cool if she would have come with the sword that she ends up using at the end of the episode. Uh, but she doesn't. We got the belt there, nice silver paint for the buckle that is sculpted on that is not actually a floating piece or anything like that. So, we don't actually get a waist swivel on her. Whoops! There she is. Um, one thing to note, she has double jointed elbows, so I'm trying to think, is this the first female figure um, in recent memory to get double jointed elbows, right? Proxima Midnight did, but before that we really didn't have a whole lot, um, but Captain Carter has them, so that is awesome. Uh, looking at the rest of the figure, we get some nice red there, brown for the boots, and then looking at these ankles, I get, I understand the concept of these boot covers, if it's... Um, you know, to help with the size or something. I don't know. It just looks kind of funky. As you can see, they just seem very oversized for the actual feet that they give her, which I think these feet are too damn small. She should have had bigger feet to go uh, with her because she's quite tall. But the design of this boot cover, or if that's supposed to just be part of the boot, really just doesn't work with these smaller feet. It just looks very funky. Like, if you look at it straight on, it's just weird looking. Having them in hand is much worse. It's just... I, I don't know, it's just the design of it seems very, very odd. I think they should have not made this so wide, and then maybe a bigger foot, and I think that would have really taken care of that. Uh, pinless elbows there, but yeah, looks really damn good if you ask me. So now let's check out her articulation. Right as I was about to get to the articulation, this isn't broken or anything, so there's no need to worry, but the way they designed this ankles, you can see this ball peg in here that ports into that the leg there. It was very loose and kind of came undone, so that might be why some of it just doesn't look as good where the, you see that large gap. That's why it seemed like this side had a bigger gap than it really was, um, but it's still, like you pop it in, there's still a, a huge gap in between, so something to think about. 
Okay, so going over Captain Carter's articulation, she can look down somewhat. She can't really look up because her hair is going to hit her shoulder, so you're not really going to get any motion um, going that way. You get a full rotation, of course, and you get some head pivot going on. It is on a ball, pe a ball, a dumbbell joint ball peg. Um, the heads do not swap. Um, that doesn't really work out, and you can see the size of the heads are quite different because we have a much larger body for Captain Carter versus the Peggy Carter figure of the past. Shoulders, you can get them to go up up straight out like so you get a full rotation of course you have an upper bicep swivel double jointed elbow on a female figure that is also pinless which looks fantastic so look at that bend there very pleased very happy with that wrist swivels and we do have a horizontal hinge on both hands we have a diaphragm joint um, so that has not changed with the female figure but it's done nicely it seems proportionate we don't go like super small and uh, larger upper upper body so we're pretty good um, pretty limited actually so we're only going to get her to pivot to her left that much we're going to get her to pivot to her right that much you're going to go back hardly anything at all and we're going to come forward hardly anything so it's pretty lacking there you get a twist at that diaphragm joint as well because there is no waist swivel so we are back to that with female figures legs go out that far apart which is decent she can't kick forward only that much which is actually a little unfortunate you can kind of now that's that's all you're going to get out of it you have an upper thigh cut there you get a double jointed knee which works out really well um there is a boot there is not a boot swivel even though there is a clear cut there it does not swivel unfortunately you do get you do get a swivel at the foot so you can swivel the foot however you would like you get some hinge down some hinge up but the way these ankle balls work i've never been a real big fan of them it really limits it and makes some figures fairly difficult to stand so be aware of that uh, but there is ankle pivot and peg holes at the bottom of the feet so we're kind of limited on our on her feet um, no waist swivel doesn't bother me because we got the diaphragm joint as long as the diaphragm joint could work out well um, but the fact that the boots don't swivel even though there's a clear cut there is a little unfortunate um, and then the diaphragm joint is kind of limited. So, um, as, as, as good as the figure looks, it, and it looks really damn good, um, it's kind of limited in its posability. So, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. So, I think for me, the zombie Captain America figure is really still winning, um, in, in terms of the best figure of the wave, but she easily comes in second. Um, but she just can't edge out zombie Captain America. And as you can see, I'm having a hard enough time getting her to stand. Uh, but there she is. Size comparison here is Captain Carter next to the Age of Ultron, Captain America, and she fell. Okay, and here we have Captain Carter next to the Peggy Carter, and a huge size difference, so pre-serum versus um, after taking the Super Soldier Serum, and then we get Captain Carter. So you could see if you wanted to keep it kind of realistic in terms of how, of size-wise, how much bigger she had gotten after taking the serum and going through um, the process, the Vita Ray process, you could see how much larger she became. Okay, and the three what-if figures that I have reviewed so far, I started with Zombie Captain America, moved over into the T'Challa Star-Lord, and now we are on the Captain Carter. So you guys let me know down in the comments below which episode um, has been your favorite. The zombie episode is actually coming this coming Wednesday, September... I don't know what day is that going to be, the 6th, 7th, 8th, or whatever it is. Um, but between these two, I think the Captain Carter, the T'Challa, T'Challa Star-Lord episode was actually pretty damn special to me. I really liked the pacing of the episode. A couple of cool little surprises in it. Um, so I actually think I like the T'Challa one more than the Captain Carter episode. But who knows, the zombie, ep the zombies episode could really take it all, uh, all the way and be the best episode so far. Um, I'm leaning towards the Doctor Strange being my best, my favorite episode. I'm still a few figures away from doing that review, but I am excited for that figure as well. But so far, they're all been really good. T'Challa, still a little bit of a disappointment compared to the others. Um, but Captain Carter, sorry, Zombie Captain America is the better figure for me. But don't get me wrong, still a very good figure. Okay, and that is my review of the Captain Carter figure. Uh, double jointed elbows that are pinless, double jointed knees that are pinless. Um, there she goes. I still have a hard time getting her to stand. Okay, to, to try that again. Uh, very, very good figure. The animated style doesn't bother me so much on this versus like the T'Challa the Star-Lord. On that figure, it just kind of um, 
just doesn't look right to me. Uh, this figure is a different story. We get a little bit of texture in kind of some of the line work um, of the suit. We get some wrinkles in some spots, whereas the other one, we didn't get that nearly as much. Um, so this figure, you know, just stands out a little bit more to me. Uh, but the double, jump, double jointed elbows are huge, but I absolutely hate the ankles on this figure. Part of the problem that I have of standing her up is I use the, the Dio um, foam board floor that I have her standing on. Right now she's standing on my desk. Um, so there's kind of those things that I have problems with. Uh, but even still, the ankles definitely are a little bit trickier to work when we have ankles of that style. I just don't get that design, especially of the boot, that really just throws me off and um, just doesn't work as well for me. So it's a little unfortunate that this figure would have it. Uh, but a very solid figure that I think is going to be one of the ones that people are really going to want to pick up. Um, I think... Uh, the that being the first episode of the what if series really set it apart and set the tone and the expectation levels of the episode of the season of the show in its entirety um and for the most part the episodes seemed to be getting better the avengers one um was interesting it was good it just wasn't as good as some of the others i think in my opinion uh dr strange knocked it out of the park but this one was still a very solid entry um and a great opening uh for the show itself you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of this figure um what you thought of that particular episode let me know in the comments below again my referral link in the video description below for toysnowman.com where I got these figures. Again, they are based in Canada, uh, so the website does have Canadian dollar versus US dollar, so don't be alarmed at that kind of that higher price point. Uh, Canada seems to be getting things a lot quicker than the US, so it is an option if you wanted to choose. But again, uh, my referral link uh, in the video description below to save 5% off of your first order. Um, if you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.